Welcome back to KTA Kitchens. My name is Maka Kwan and today we're making kalbi, my favorite dish, kalbi, um, Korean short ribs. Um, I'm Korean, so we're making kalbi, me. Um, if you ain't got short ribs, use shrimp. You ain't got shrimp, use chicken. You ain't got chicken, use flank steak. You ain't got flank, I don't use pork. I love pork too. When you're, okay, look, it's about, we're supposed to have four or five pounds of recipe, so I got a little bit more. One cup of, sh uh, one cup of soy, one cup of brown sugar, half a cup of water, about three tablespoons of sesame oil. We've got fresh ginger, fresh garlic, and some chopped green onion, and some toasted sesame seeds. Let's combine all of these, except what these buggers over here. We're gonna do this last, okay? Here we go, sugar, or soyu. Starts with S, I get them confused. Sugar, soy, brown sugar. You know, you can use white sugar if you want. You can use cane sugar. I use brown sugar because I think it has this more nuttier flavor, toastier flavor. But if you want, hey, use it, whatever, whatever you like, okay? Water, I put water because sometimes soy is too salty. And sometimes you don't have enough sugar. But up to you, you want to add more sugar, add more sugar to you, okay? Sesame oil, oh, I don't know why, but sesame oil just tastes so good. And then ginger, all I do, I don't even do anything, I just crush them. Throw them inside, crush them, throw them inside. It says three, four, use five or six, if you like, we lost one. Here we go. And then a little bit of ginger. So I just cut the ginger off and then I just use a spoon and scrape it out like this. And if you don't want to scrape it out, you want to wash it off, it's fine. It's up to you. You know, we're not going to cook this. We're just going to use it just to marinate the meat. And that's all we want. We just want the flavor of the meat in there, okay? I'm going to cut it. And I love ginger. It's good for your joints, good for your ligaments. You know, it makes everything nice and loose. All right. It just smells so good. It's like, Okay, so here I got the ginger crush. And with the whisk, we want to make sure we whisk in that sugar. We want the sugar to melt. You know, if you don't have, if you, if you don't mix it really good, what happens is sugar clumps onto your proteins and then they get like these little chunks of stuff on there, like caramelized sugar. Okay, here we go. So, and I like to marinate this full five hours. You marinate overnight is fine with me or yourself if you want to make it, okay? This marinade. Do you got enough marinade? Make some more marinade. If you got too much marinade, save it. Save it for something else you do next time. And it'll last a long time, believe it or not. So, with my hands, just marinate. Roll them inside there, okay? And we're gonna come back and we're gonna cook these guys up after we had marinated in four hours, okay? The kalbi is done. It's coming out of the pan. It's coming on the cutting board. Look at that. Woohoo! All right, when uh, I'm gonna let this rest before I put it in my mouth and burn my mouth. But what temperature to cook it on? Medium rare, medium. Well done, up to you. How long will it take? Well, this cut, about a half inch thick, maybe three or four minutes. You know, one side three minutes, next side two minutes. And if you're unsure, cut it. No, I'm just kidding, don't cut it. Press it. Okay, if you're not gonna press it, then get a thermometer, one of those gauge things. I don't know, like the traffic cops got. When is a nice pairing with this, a red zin. You know, we got this really beautiful cut of meat and then we're marinating it with soy, um, sesame oil, you know, sugar. So it has a sweet savoriness to it. Maybe the red zin, hopefully the red zin will bring out those flavors in there and it wouldn't be so heavy like a, like a Cabernet, you know, it's so too big sometimes. Something really light so it can pick up the flavors of the meat itself. Well, let's cut this guy and let's taste it. I know you guys want to taste it because I want to taste it. These camera people want to taste it. And I don't want to burn my muscle, I'm gonna blow it inside. That's right, this is Ono. This is Maka Kwan, KT Kitchens. We'll see you guys next time. Aloha.